yeah, so we're going to talk now about mix. What happens with mix? So basically, this is a situation where I've got a little bit of series and a little bit of parallel. And I want to know what I need to do to convert it literally into just one resistor. So how could I solve this so the, the total current, so this is the total current, is exactly the same? How can I replace all of this with, exact, with one resistor? Okay. So I'm going to talk to you for this. So what it is, is I've clearly got a series on this, and then I've got a parallel circuit here. So what I need to do to make it easier for myself is, first of all, before I want to do any parallel stuff, okay, I want to sort out, so what is this if I only had one resistor? So if you can imagine, I want to replace these two resistors just with one, so that current's the same. So that's just going to be... Uh, series they're just in series you can add them together so i could replace this one resistor and have 30 ohms up here and 40 down here and now i've just got parallel 30 and a 40 so i added those together so remember resistors in series so this is series okay is the total resistance is r1 plus r2 and i was finding the total resistance of these two and in parallel, we can't be bothered to write parallel, is 1 over RT equals 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. And that's where I'm left here. I've now got two resistors and I can do that. So let's have a go. So I've got 1 over RT equals 1 over 30 plus 1 over 40. I'm going to put that into my calculator. So 1 over 30 plus 1 over 40 is so 1 over RT is 7 over 120. I'm going to flip that upside down. So I know my total resistance is going to be 120 over 7, which is 17.1. So I could replace all of these resistors with a 17.1 ohm resistor, and I'd still have the same amount of current. Okay. Okay, let's make it a little bit harder. Okay, so what happens if I had this, for example? Ooh, doo, doo, doo. Oh, this is a bit harder. Okay, I would again just make it one resistor. So we've got to think about this, we've got loads of sections. So I'm going to choose this as two ohms, three, four, and six. I'm making numbers up, so three, four, and six ohms, okay. So currently, this resistor is in series with all of this mess, okay. So if I can just make this be, if it, what would this be if it was one resistor? So one resistor, what would I do? So I'm going to first of all make this a bit simpler. So I'm going to deal with this situation. So I've got the two seven, add them together, six. Now I'm going to make the, I want to make it simpler. So I want to make it something that's two and then something. I want to make this simpler. So I'm going to use the resistors in series. So the question mark, one over question mark equals one over seven plus one over six. One divided by seven plus one. That is 40, 13 over 42. So my question mark is going to be flip it over. 42 over 13, which is 3.23 ohms. So I can replace this section here with a 3.23 resistor and everything would be fine. Now, this is in series with this. So I'm just going to add them two plus... 3.23 equals 5.23. So I know I can replace all of this with just one resistor of 5.23. It has exactly the same amount of current going through it. So let's give you one. So I'm going to give you two. Okay. So the first one, I'm just going to write the letters instead of the squares so it's a bit clearer. So this is two. This is four, this is six, this is 12. 
So these are all resistors here like that. Much clearer for you to see. I want to know what my total resistance for the entire circuit is. And then this one's a little bit harder. Yeah, what's the total resistance for that circuit? Pause the video, have a go. All right, so this one, first of all, I'm going to make that simpler. So that will become 10. So I have 2, 10, and 12. Okay, these are in parallel now. Okay, so I'm going to have 1 over 10 plus 1 over 12. is that's 11 over 60 so that's now remember that's one over the r of this thing so we're going to flip that over so 60 divided by 11 i can replace this thing with 5.5 5. so i've got 2 and 5.5 5. so now i've got two in series i can replace all of this with a 5.5 5 plus 2 a 7.5 ohm resistor so i can replace all of that with a 7.5 ohm resistor and still have the same amount of total current. Okay, all right, this one, a little bit harder, okay? So clearly I've got this and this. They're actually in series with each other, even though this junk is in there. And the reason I know they're in series with each other is because this can condense down into one resistor, and then I get this and this one resistor and this. So I know they're all in series, okay? So let's actually have a go. Uh, I'm going to sort this out first. So I've got three... Then it goes to a four, and then six plus nine is 15, and then four. Okay, so we're gonna deal this one first. So I've got one over four plus one over 15. I'm trying to deal with this section. Uh, so one over four plus one over 15 is, so that's 19 over 60. I've got to flip it upside down. So this can be replaced with a resistor that is 60 divided by 19, so 3.2. So I've got a three. This section is a total of 3.2 and a four. So that plus that, that is a 10.2 ohm resistor. So I can replace all of those with a 10.2 ohm resistor and I get, um, uh, I get the same amount of total current. So there we have it, that is, um, just a mix of using series and parallel rules in circuit analysis.